Hi, my name is Raj with Google Cloud. And in this video, we're going to go over the creation of a private cloud within Google Cloud VMware Engine. The first thing we're going to do is log into the cloud console at console.cloud.google.com. And let's go ahead and click on the main menu and select VMware Engine under the compute section of the main menu. As you can see, VMware Engine shows up as a first class citizen, just like any other Google Cloud service within the menu options. Now, the first time you launch Google Cloud VMware Engine, you'll have to enable the API first. This is a one-time step for the first time you're attempting to provision and create your private cloud. Once the API has been enabled, we'll go back to the menu again and click on VMware Engine from the menu once more. And once the screen loads, what we'll be in is the main Google Cloud VMware Engine portal where we can configure and deploy our first private cloud. All right, let's go ahead and click on the new private cloud button to create our VMware environment. First thing we're gonna do in the new screen here is go ahead and give it a name uh, to denote the name of the private cloud or the uh, software defined data center environment. This is gonna be called in our case, GCV-demo. Next, we're gonna select which location it's gonna go in. Within the location, you're gonna select the geo physical location where the private cloud gets created, wherever it might be in the world. In our case, we're just going to go ahead and select Australia here. And you also get to select what's called a placement group. And this is where uh, the rows of compute or the capacity selection is made along with where your private cloud goes. Next, we'll select the node type. And in this case, this will be the standard 72, which is a 72 threaded physical hardware, 36 physical cores, uh, three quarters of a terabyte of memory uh, and around 19.2 terabytes of raw NVMe space, along with 3.2 terabytes of cache. Next, we're going to select whether to do a multi-node deployment or a single node deployment. Single node deployments are typically used for a proof of concept or lab or testing type scenario, whereas the multi-node is more for a production based environment. So we're going to select multi-node here. And next, you'll notice that we have a customized core option. The customized core option allows you to disable cores on a node in order to bring down the number of cores available to the hypervisor. The reason for this may be related to perhaps application licensing requirements. Maybe you're running a certain application that requires you to license the whole physical server, in which case you may want to create a custom cluster uh, with reduced core counts in order to limit the impact on your application licensing. Next, we'll need two CIDR ranges. One is for our vSphere, vSAN, NSXT management components. And the next one is for our HCX deployment ranges, which is the migration tool built into Google Cloud VMware Engine. We'll go ahead and click review and create. And if you get a sign that says you can provision in fast mode, this means that we can provision vCenter and the ISXi nodes at around 30 minutes, which is an extremely fast time. So we'll go ahead and click create at this time. And within around 30 minutes, your environment should be ready for you to log into vCenter. Now that our cloud is operational, you can see here that our private cloud has been provisioned. Let's go ahead and grab the password for our vCenter login and the username. And there are two ways where we can reach the vCenter URL. You can either click on vSphere Management Network, or we can click on the Launch vSphere Client button. Now that we've gone ahead and clicked on that button, we can see that we're greeted by the browser screen with the vCenter URL. Let's go ahead and log into vCenter with our cloud owner credentials and the password that we copied from the previous screen. As you can see, the vCenter view here is very similar and familiar to the one that you might see on an on-prem environment, which provides a consistent experience with managing a VMware environment in the cloud. Now that you know how to deploy your own dedicated private cloud on Google Cloud VMware Engine, check out the other videos in this series to learn how to configure the infrastructure and migrate your workloads to the cloud. To learn more about Google Cloud VMware Engine, visit our site at cloud.google.com slash VMware-Engine.